did you or do you still think that if you have something, then you're going to be able to do something and then you can be something? So, for example, if you have more money, then you're going to be able to invest in your business or do certain things for yourself and then you can be happy or you can be um, feel safe, whatever it is. Now, the issue with that thinking is that what you've done there, and this is what the world has taught many of us, is that you are in a mindset, which is the conditional mindset. This is the exact opposite of the abundant mindset. And the abundant mindset basically is saying that all that I want is already there. It's already there. I already have it. Who do I get to be to experience it now? I'll repeat that. All that I want is already there. Who do I get to be to experience it now? And I'm sure you've noticed that some people, you give two, three, four people exactly the same formula, exactly the same recipe, exactly the same instructions. Some of them are creating incredible results and others are struggling. Why? This is because they have different paradigms. They have different relationships to the reality. One thing I can tell you for sure is whenever you catch yourself saying, oh, if I had had that, then I could have done that and then been whatever the case may be, then you've just given up your power. It may be easier to push that responsibility onto someone else However, when you do not stand in responsibility, then what is happening is that you are lame. How can you walk forwards if in order to progress, somebody else must come and take that step for you? It may seem harder at first to really dig deep, to accept full responsibility for the past results. However, that is the beginning of transformation. Our personal transformation, the being, is what leads to the life transformation, the having, right? So who do you get to be today that will allow you do the things you get to do in order to have the things you want? An example is, there was a time that I had zero discipline when it came to my calendar. So at the corporate world, my calendar was always extremely full, constantly in meetings. And when I left, I was just like, I'm not doing this. I have this allergic rela relationship to having a meeting and having my, my day scheduled. But the fact was, yes, there is a mid ground between no free time at all, working from seven till 11 at night, doing weekends as well, that doesn't serve anyone. And having no integrity of calendar. And so I was doing a lot of things, yes. However, was I truly creating the results that I wanted? I was not. And the reason was that I wasn't being disciplined. I wasn't being focused. I wasn't being in integrity with my word. So saying I will do a thing and then doing it. And guess what? If I am not integrity with my word, then how can other people be integri in integrity with me? So anytime you notice that there are things that people do which irritate you or make you sad or upset you, it may just be that you are doing exactly those things to yourself or others. Now, you can be right or you can be rich. You can be right or you can be free. You can be right or you can be happy. If you are ready to be rich, free and happy, if that's something that's important to you, if you feel worthy of that, then you definitely want to look at situations that you can shift. So your being gets to shift, whether it's into more discipline, whether it is more relaxed, whether it's more feeling more worthy, whether it's having more compassion for yourself and others, 
What is the way of being that will generate the actions required to create the results? I want you to think of this. If you have a car and there's a flat tire, obviously that car is not going to go very far. If you want to change the tire, you can choose to try and lift it up with your own strength. And there are people who do that. I've even heard of stories where mothers were able to lift cars. I mean, this is just sheer force of will. Some sort of force came through her because their children were trapped underneath the cars. That's one way of doing it. The other way of doing it is using a very manual jack that will take energy and that will take time. The other way of doing it is using this car jacks. Now I think you press a button and it, it's done. And the other way is doing is calling someone and saying, hey, kindly come and pick up my car. I'm taking an Uber right now. There's so many ways of doing it. My point is the same results. So the car now has a new tire. There's a variety of ways that you do it. And each of those ways has a certain way of being behind it. So for example, if you were going to call someone to come and support you, because maybe you didn't have time or you don't really want to do it, then who are you being? Are you being worthy of receiving support? Are you being abundant and saying, I have enough money to do that? Did you already invest in insurance or that kind of service for yourself because you felt worthy of it? Or were you being very careful with your money, not feeling that you deserved that kind of support? So you would just use the manual method or the other method. So who you are being is constantly determining what you are doing and the results that you have. And actually the quest, the decision you're making from minute to minute is not necessarily, what am I going to do? The decision you're making from minute to minute is who am I going to be? Am I going to be honest? Am I going to be in integrity? Am I going to be wealthy? Am I going to be worthy? Which of these resonates? I really want you to think about a result that you created recently, a result that you truly celebrate. And ask yourself, who was I being in order to do what I did to create those results? And then I want you to look at a result that you created, a result that you are not proud of or a result that you're not delighted with. That's fine. And look at it without any shame, without any blame, because you are not your results. You create the results. And if you don't like the results you've created so far, this is a great opportunity for you to actually sit down and say, OK, who was I being? to take the actions that I took in order to create the results that I did. And if that's not working, who do I now get to be in order to do that? That being inside of you is the one that's doing the thinking, is the one that's doing the feeling, the one that's inspiring the action. So the real source of transformation in your life is not taking another course on Facebook, another course on all the actions and modules you need to do with your business, those are great and they're important. But you can do all of those and still not shift because if you don't shift from within, then your life external transformation cannot shift either, at least not for a long time. So remember this. Next time that you are in a situation that requires some form of shift. Instead of saying, oh, what do I get to do? What do I get to do? What do I need? What do I need to have in order to do, in order to be? Ask yourself, flip the script. Who do I get to be now in order to maybe even know what to do, the best source of action, and then to have what it is I want? Love and light, share your comments.